you making, Ali? What I'm making at the moment is a project I started a while ago. Um, I keep I keep picking things up and putting things down, and when the time's right, I pick them back up again. And um, this this was a bag. Well, it is a bag in the making. Um, badger. It's really important for me that I use as much of the animal as I can. If I can eat it, I'll eat it. If I can use the fur, I'll use the fur. I'll cure the fur. I'll make a nice rug. This little hat. I made this little hat for my little boy. This is hair. Yeah. Recycled pair of trousers and a baby grow on the inside. But this is one of my favourite pieces. Yeah. This is a beaver merking. It's a bikini and it was uh, made out of a bit of beaver. <laughs> she is symbolic of a woman's sexual power and ability to castrate a man with her genitalia. If you've seen the movie Teeth, you'll know what I mean. Now what's special about this needle is it comes with its own hole. Native Americans used to highly prize these needles because it comes from an animal and really there's not many animals that have one of these because this is a penis bone of a badger and when you sharpen it you actually get a needle but because these were so rare magically and shamanically they were concerned they hold a lot of power and uh, you could actually trade one of these for a horse My penis for a horse. Yeah, I'll stand up and do that. <laughs> I'll do a bit more sewing. <laughs> Another practice that I have is bone carving. And I use various bits of bone. So from, from, from a lot of the animals that I use, I'll, I'll use bits of bones and turn them into beautiful little objects like that. Out of bits of antler, I'll make adornments for my hair. This necklace was a huge inspiration to me. I draw a lot of my inspiration from tribal cultures around the world. Things like this really do inspire me to make uh, my own creations. This one here is, uh, is, is one of mine and this is cow bone and these are big cat teeth. I really do try to use every bit of the animal, so even leftover feet. I have pots and boxes of tails and toes and from tip to toe I make key rings. Yeah. This one is actually a light switch in my van, so you pull the light switch. So the tip of this fox's tail is uh, a nice little adornment for a festival and the tip of these deer toes are drumsticks so these are drum beaters on shamanic drums I even go so far sometimes to preserve everything so these are made from my baby's placenta <laughs> so I really do try to use everything <laughs>